Hi everybody, happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the first day of a little series that will be happening on my channel called Model Monday. I'm going to be releasing videos every Monday and Thursday from here on out. Mondays are going to be Model Mondays, which are videos about modeling, could be anything, but something to do with modeling. And Thursdays will be whatever the heck I want. Okay, sound like a plan? So if you didn't already know, a few years back, or like four years ago, now that I think about it, I was on a show called America's Next Top Model, and I happened to win that show. And I assume that's why most of you are here watching this video today. You guys know a lot about the experience. I've opened up about a lot of it, but what you haven't heard is what happened after the show. Did I ever receive the prizes? Did America's Next Top Model help my career in any way? Am I happy that I did it? Do I still keep in touch with the girls? Lots of questions to be answered in this video. We're getting into the nitty gritty and I'm opening up and being very honest about the whole thing. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. about what happened immediately after my win on America's Next Top Model. Not the one that you guys saw on TV, but the real moment that I won in real life. So the judges were actually deliberating about uh, who was going to be the winner for such a long time, like hours and hours and hours. And Tatiana and I were waiting for the winner to be announced till like three o'clock in the morning. So her and I were just waiting around till the wee hours of the night or the morning, I should say. And once the winner was finally announced, Tatiana went to the hotel and I was told that I had to wait around because there was some sort of a surprise that was gonna happen. So they took me outside and put me in this van and I just had to wait there for so long. 5 a.m. rolls around and finally they say, okay, let's go. So. We go to this like pier in New York. I can't remember exactly where it is. I walk outside and Tyra is there to meet me. And funny story, this never made it on TV. She basically just talked to me about the show, congratulations, uh, what life might look like afterwards and telling me to keep it a secret. It was really, really important that I kept it a secret after the show because if you tell anybody early, they can take away your prize. And fun fact, that actually happened one season where they had to fly both the girls back in to reshoot the finale, making the other girl win because the original winner had broken the contract and told her whatever, friends or family or something like that. So crazy. But anyways, Tyra and I, after we chatted for a while, we filmed the scene where we like held hands and looked out into the moonlight and it was really weird. Hence why it never made it on TV. It was kind of like a really weird scene, scene, <laughs> a really weird moment, I guess. Then Tyra Shoelace was undone, so I told her. Then it was time to go home. So I went back into the van, and by this point it's like 6 a.m. and I'm like, this is so weird. They take me to the hotel, and I only got about three hours in the hotel because we had to be up at 9 a.m. or something, but the suite that they gave me at that hotel was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. It, there were like two kitchens, two bathrooms, big bed, balcony, couch, full kitchen bar, whatever, all this awesome stuff. So then after that, I flew home and life just resumed as normal. It was really weird and really hard for me to keep that as a secret, obviously. I may have hinted at my win to a couple of people in my life, but I hope now that the show has aired that that's not gonna get me in trouble. But anyways, so I was in New York and staying with my friend and then the episode aired where I was announced as a winner. So on cycle 23 of America's Next Top Model, if you didn't already know, the prizes were $100,000, a Rimmel London commercial, a spread in paper magazine, and a one year VH1 talent deal. There was no agency prize for my season, but Drew, one of the judges, was nice enough to take me around to several agencies in New York and set up meetings and I also was signed with the same management as Rita Ora for a while, got that through the show. So a lot of other good things came from that, even though there wasn't an agency contract actually. But I did end up getting an agency contract with foreign models in New York and I worked with them for a while. But anyways, let's get back into the prizes. 
So let's start with the Rimmel London commercial. Uh, yes, obviously you guys saw on TV, we did shoot the Rimmel London commercial and people told me that they saw it online, but I don't think it ever aired on TV. Tell me if you saw it somewhere, but I don't think it ever aired on TV as much as I would like to think it did. I never saw it. Okay, the next prize, let's get into the $100,000 cash prize. This is always a really interesting topic because you hear all sorts of things from reality TV people about how they didn't get their money or it was taxed or whatever this and that. Basically, one day I had a meeting with the VH1 team and they were like, and here's your check by the way. And they handed me the check and it was literally a check for $100,000. I just couldn't believe it. Like I had never had that much money in my entire life and it was just a crazy feeling. So. Yes, I got the $100,000 in full and I put over half of it, like three quarters of it into my living expenses in New York. I paid for that up front and then I had a roommate paying me half the rent to kind of recoup that. Three quarters of my money went immediately into one year of housing in New York. I also used some of the money to get a car when I came back to LA and then I ended up subleasing that apartment in New York so I got back some of that money but anyways I didn't spend the money on anything crazy other than just my living expenses and a mode of transportation. So I will say that after I deposited the money the first thing that I bought was a pair of knee-high suede heeled boots from Stuart Weitzman that I had always wanted. They were like $900 and I was never able to afford them so I knew that's what I wanted and I immediately went to the mall in New York and bought myself a pair of those. So you guys, sounds too good to be true, right? Well, yes, it was. I don't know what I was thinking. I figured that it would be taxed, but I guess I didn't know how much the game show tax is in New York, which technically America's Next Top Model is a game show. I got taxed a lot. Um, after I had spent the majority of my money, the following tax year, I see this whopping amount of money that I owe and it was more than I had left, which put me in a really difficult financial situation that I am actually still in today. I am paying off those taxes still monthly to this day. So if you ever go on a reality show or a game show or something, just know that you're going to be taxed um, about 30 to 40 percent and just put that money away and don't touch it. My father told me to do something like that and unfortunately I did not. Whatever, I was young and I didn't know. Um, I just would have done things a lot differently if I had the brain that I have now. I also would have spent it a lot differently. I would have invested some of the money, tried to invest in some housing. Just, I would have done things a lot differently, but boy was that a really fun couple of years in New York and LA living pretty freely financially. I usually don't regret things in my life, but I do regret a little bit not putting aside that money and having that taken care of. And it's not like it was, you know, dangling in front of my face. Here's $100,000. If I just went in thinking, okay, it's only $60,000, then I would have spent differently. I would have been smarter, things like that. But in my defense, I sort of thought that after America's Next Top Model that I would be making a lot of money. So I was like, I don't have to worry about that. I can spend it because I'm going to continue to get amazing paychecks like this. Which sort of leads me into my next point, which was gonna be about whether or not America's Next Top Model helped me and how my career has been since then. But hold on, we have to finish talking about the prizes before we get into all that. So the next prize was uh, the spread in paper magazine and that was awesome. It's still in my portfolio today. I love those pictures. That was fully real in the printed magazine. So that was a great prize. Then the last prize was a VH1 talent deal, mm -hmm. which I guess I still don't know what that is. <laughs> Everyone on the show was like, so I wonder what we're gonna get to do on that. Does that mean like we're gonna get to be in TV shows or on these other reality shows? We were so confused on the show and I'm still confused today. I was asked to be on Hip Hop Squares and I was asked to be on that like Cooking with Snoop Dogg show. I forget what it's called. And I really wish I would have done those, but my manager at the time said it wasn't on brand for me. I don't know, but I wish I would have done it to be honest. But other than that, like I said, I don't know what the VH1 talent deal means. I would say that prize never really happened. Okay, so like I said, I did wanna talk about how America's Next Top Model has helped me. Maybe my expectations from the win versus the reality, how my career was affected, etc. So let's get into it. 
So I mentioned earlier how I sort of expected that after America's Next Top Model, I would book so many modeling gigs, money would never be an issue again. That was just what went through my mind and probably what goes through yours when you see somebody crowned as America's Next Top Model. You probably expect that they're going to have a thriving, successful career as a model. And I'll say immediately after the show, I think this did have to do a lot with my manager that I had, Rita Ora's manager. They're awesome and they were able to get me a lot of cool stuff immediately after the show, so that was great. But long term, America's Next Top Model has not really helped me in my modeling career. It is a cool thing to mention and throw out, but honestly, people at castings don't really care. Agents, modeling agencies don't really care. But how America's Next Top Model has helped me is this right here. Like I would literally not have a YouTube, probably not have a freaking Instagram, probably not have a TikTok. Like I had about 600 followers on my Instagram before America's Next Top Model. I didn't know what social media was. I didn't know that there were such things as social media influencers and now I would say that that is a really big part of my career. So I am so grateful that America's Next Top Model and the following that came from that taught me one of my passions in life and just showed me this world of social media that I did not even know existed. So yeah, after America's Next Top Model, I went from 600 followers to immediately 230,000 followers on Instagram basically overnight and I didn't even know what to do with it. Now this is another thing, I wouldn't say it's a regret, but if I knew what I knew now about social media and social media influencing, oh my gosh, <laughs> I probably could have made a lot of money immediately after the show with the knowledge I have now of how to acquire social media campaigns and partnerships. Anyways, I didn't know what I didn't know, so I was just like having fun. It took me probably a year after America's Next Top Model to realize that I could make money off of my Instagram following. So that was a bit of a bummer. I probably lost out on some money there, but that's okay. You live and you learn, am I right? So in that department, America's Next Top Model and winning the show still helps me to this day. A big part of my income is from Instagram and social media partnerships. So I will forever be grateful for that. That is probably the thing I'm most grateful for from the show is that I get to do these awesome collaborations, travel, meet new people, and all that awesome stuff. So I am beyond happy that I did the show, of course. And it was just an awesome experience all in all. I mean, reality TV is crazy and you can watch my other video that I have all about the juicy details of the show. But all in all, America's Next Top Model was so fun. Just such a bucket list experience for me because I was a fan of America's Next Top Model since I was like 10 years old. So it was super cool to be on that show, meet these people that I've looked up to and just be a part of what I would call a legendary show. So the last thing I wanted to touch on is the other girls from the show. I get asked all the time, are you still friends with the other girls on the show? And of course we're all cordial with each other and before COVID I used to see them around and stuff like that in LA and we're all, um, Friends, I would still say, although I don't hang out with any of them like one-on-one, -on -one, we don't really get together so much anymore, which I think is totally fine. But if any of them ever needed anything, they could totally reach out to me and I would be there for them 100%. And I feel like if I ever needed anything, I could reach out to the girls and they would be there for me too. So it's this weird little family that we've created. And even though we're not like, all best friends anymore. I think we'll forever be there for each other. So, all right guys, so I hope that answered your most burning questions about life after America's Next Top Model. And if you liked this video, make sure you click like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss any videos coming out every Monday and every Thursday. I have so many good ones coming, you won't wanna miss them. So stay tuned and I will see you all very soon. Bye.